Hey guys, welcome back to Release to Craft and Priscilla here with another episode of Mini Magic. If you aren't um, aware already, if you've never seen a Mini Magic series before, Mini Magic is a series of small, short form videos where I do little tiny bits of art and tell you little magical things. And uh, this week we're doing crystals as voted on by my patrons over on Patreon. And um, we're doing my top seven current favorite crystals because they're always rotating, but these are the ones I love the most right now. So I thought it would be fun to share with you. Um, so let's jump into it because these are supposed to be quick and I um, am rambling now. We're doing calcite today and calcite has been one of my favorite stones for like a decade and then some. Um, in fact, I, I found it with my best friend so like it has special extra meaning for me because we have that little connection of discovering this crystal together. Um, and I will eventually at one point would like to go over all of the meanings of every individual color of calcite. But we're going to focus on sort of the general and more orange specific calcite because that's the first one I found and it's one I'm, I'm making in the art today. So quick talking now. <laughs> Here we go. Calcite is found all over the world. It's actually super abundant and it can be colorless, translucent, uh, red, yellow, green, blue, pink, black, and uh, a bluish like gray color. Um, it's also the crystalline form of calcium carbonate and the clear form was used in early science in light and optic experience like experiments especially with prisms and it's still found uh widely used in the scientific field today uh calcite connects us with our emotional body and can be used to enhance our emotional state and well-being if you're lacking motivation or positivity calcite is the stone for you it's a cleanser and natural amplifier and will boost the vibrations of anything that you put next to it um and or you put it next to and it can be added to your magical workings for an energetic boost. Calcite in general is a stone of the mind and memory and is often used while studying and for past life regression sessions. Um, it can help calm the mind and helps alchemize ideas into action. So it gives you that sort of inner peace and then tells you like, hey, you have this idea. Let's put it into use. Calcite, um, there's a calcite for every chakra as there is a color of, you know, the color range is wide and plenty. Um... And calcite can actually work for every chakra in that regard, um, especially the clear because it's all colors and none. Um, each calcite color, though, has its own individual properties. And like I said, we'll go into that at a different point in time. Um, but calcite is a good crystal for healing. It can be worn to protect and enhance your auric field. It's a mini muse and can provide inspiration and boost creativity. Calcite is a crystal of harmony. It can help you with communication and strengthening your relationship bonds. Um, since my first calcite was orange, I'm a little biased, but orange calcite is for the artists and creatives. Um, it inspires you to live passionately and chase your dreams. It's energetic, stimulating, illuminating, and boosts the imagination. The orange color calls on solar energy and is associated with the sacral chakra, making it a stone of confidence, courage, and interestingly, sensual um, orange calcite can also help clear brain fog and imposter syndrome and can be used as a very powerful motivational stone. Calcite has a Mohs hardness of three, making it a fairly soft stone, and as such, it can be easily scratched or broken by anything harder. So avoid wearing calcite as a ring, because it'll definitely get damaged that way. Um, you can wash calcite with water and a mild detergent, but it should not be left to soak in water. It will actually dissolve. Um... Also, don't put it in your water bottles. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. Because <laughs> it will dissolve and it will turn into little pieces and it will kill you. Uh, and if it doesn't kill you, it will not make you stronger. I promise you. Um, calcite should not be left in the sun for long periods of time. Because um, that also damages the stone. So keep that in mind when charging your stones. Uh, you can charge them in the moonlight. Or um, with earth, like salt. Um, and as always, please don't put crystals in your dang body. Um, and that's gonna be it for me guys. I will catch you guys in the next mini magic. Look for that tomorrow. Um, until then, happy crafting. Appreciate your faces. Bye!